Hello, today I'll be showing you how to view, load, and save battery data in the T180 charger. And if you found the video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. We'll be posting new videos every week. All right, so next we're gonna be showing you the different uh, view, load, save, and delete data functions. So we'll first start off with the view function. This is for if you wanna quickly check the battery and the charger status. So we'll go into there. Uh, we have the input voltage going into the charger, the output voltage, so 11.56 volts. Um, and then it also shows the internal resistance of the battery pack. If we go into unit, again, we can see each uh, individual cell and their individual voltages inside the battery pack. And this function is a live readout, so you do have to plug in the battery in order to use this function. All right, next up is the balance function. This is to balance all the individual cells inside of your battery pack. So if we go into the balance, we're uh, on a LiPo battery. So we'll leave that, we can click start and it'll start balancing. So they already have the same voltage, so it's not gonna do much in this case. But if the uh, voltages of your individual cells were different, they will, um, in this function, uh, go to the same voltage to balance your battery pack. Next, we'll move on to the memory function. This is if you want to save the charging settings or discharging settings um, for a particular battery, so you don't have to input them every time you want to charge or discharge your battery. Um, and for this function, the way it works is it will automatically save whatever you had previously charged. So in this case, it was a lead acid battery. Um, it was a discharging. So in order to save the settings for this battery, we'll have to set it up one time. We'll delete that real quick. Go to the LiPo. And so let's just do charge for now. Um, it already has everything saved here. So let's just quickly set that up. We'll do start. And so say we already got this set up and next time, if we wanna go back and save it, we'll go back to the memory function and we'll just click save. And there it is right there. We have a LiPo 3S charging at 1.2 amps. And then for next time, when you want to charge this battery again, you simply go back to the memo function here, the memory function, click on it. It's been saved there, so just load it. And then it automatically shows everything that has been saved right there. Click enter. And then click start. And then it'll start charging. All right, so this last example was for the charging. So say if you want to save a storage function, we'll go into there for the LiPo battery pack. Uh, this is from the last time we used it. So we'll hold down enter, quickly start it. And then so now it's gonna go into storage mode. So for the next time you'd wanna use this function, we'll go back back to the memo, click on that, and we'll go down to the uh, second option here. You can save up to 20 different settings here. So we'll go back up to here, click on the second one, click save, and there it goes, it stays, saves right there. So it's a LiPo battery 3S storage at 3.7 volts. All right, and again, if we wanna load this storage for the LiPo battery, we just click load. All the settings automatically pop up in your window here. Click enter and start. And then it'll start uh, doing the storage function. And if you ever wanna delete a, um, a saved data file here, all you gotta do is click on it and hold down delete and it'll open up that data file right here. The first question we got here, what is the difference between directly charging and load data? 
load data to charge. So the main difference between these two options is the amount of time and the convenience between the two. So if you're just uh, directly charging, you're gonna have to, uh, after you plug in your battery, you're gonna have to set the voltage, set the current every single time you wanna charge your battery. If you use the load um, and save data um, function to charge your battery, you can set all the uh, preset options once and then load it when you wanna charge your battery again. So you don't have to input all those options every single time. And our final question we have here, can I balance nickel metahydride slash nickel CAD batteries in the view and balance program? So the balance program is only for lithium based batteries with the balance connector. Um, this, uh, this option doesn't apply to any of the batteries such as uh, the nickel based batteries. That's it for this tutorial. Hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please comment down below and we'll be there to answer any questions you have. And I'll see you next week.